Welcome back. The big political story this weekend, January 6th subpoenas issued to Arizona lawmakers. Investigators are still looking into former President Trump's attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Tonight, Arizona Senate President Warren Peterson saying it's mostly just a request for any communications between us and a list of people. That full list still unknown, but Peterson is one of several current and former Arizona lawmakers subpoenaed here. Our political reporter Mark Phillips has more on the implications. Senate President Warren Peterson and through his spokesman, Speaker of the House Ben Toma, confirmed they received subpoenas to testify and hand over documents to the Justice Department's special counsel. Senator Peterson said, of course I'll comply. Why wouldn't I? The former president worked hard to get Arizona to change its vote, calling into a hotel ballroom to encourage Republican lawmakers to do it in November 2020, <laughs> then trying to contact Governor Ducey the day he certified the election. And along with his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, Trump attempted to convince former Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers to call a special session with the intention of throwing out the results. It is a tenet of my faith. that the Constitution is divinely inspired of my most basic foundational beliefs. And so for me to do that because somebody just asked me to is foreign to my very being. I, I, I will not do it. When I asked Mr. Bowers if he was subpoenaed, the former speaker said, I'm advised not to speak about this issue. The Arizona Mirror first reported the subpoenas. The news outlet said, Investigators seek documents and communications between the former president and members of his campaign with lawmakers. Senator Peterson said the only name he recognized was Rudy Giuliani's. The Mirror also said State Senate Majority Leader Sonny Borelli of Lake Havasu City was also subpoenaed. Reached Sunday, Borelli said he could not speak on the issue. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.